Hello. This is going to be my first video of a line of reasoning videos of why I believe that God does not exist. And I thought over it is I am making the positive claim that God does not exist. And uh, I've got a chart right here. I will put it as my thumbnail of the problem of evil. Pretty much the idea that God is the most powerful being in every aspect. He is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-good. Those are the three tenets of at least the Christianity God. Now, the problem of evil is the fact that if all three of these things are true, he cannot exist. For example, God is all good. Anything he does is good. He creates objective morality. But within itself right there is a contradiction. If he makes a rule and then changes it later on, that rule was never objective. It was wrong later down the line. It, it's not a fundamental objective truth. So, the, right there, there's a flaw in the all good. And if God is all good, he would want to stop any evil wherever it exists. The next one is he is all knowing. He knows everything in existence. And since everything is technically every when, since space and time are one thing, it's actually space time, he should know everything. Everything that happens at any point in time. I, I know I sort of went a bit deep on that, but I, I've thought about this for a while. If he knows everything, he knows when you're going to do something, uh, why you're going to do it, what's the purpose of it. He knows exactly what you're thinking. He knows what you're going to have for breakfast next Tuesday. He knows what you were thinking last week when you were in the liquor store. So he would know whenever evil would occur. And then the all-powerful, the most paradoxical of the three. In of itself, being all-powerful, having all of the power, literally impossible. If someone else has a small smidgen of power, you're not all powerful because they they have a little bit of power. And it goes back to the can God make a rock so large that he can't move it? it that's the paradox of being all powerful. If you can make a rock so heavy that you can't move it, then you are no longer all powerful because this rock has more power than you. You can't move it. But if you cannot make a rock so heavy that you cannot move, then you're not all powerful because you can't make that rock. It's a paradox. All powerful literally can't exist. Now to say he's the most powerful being, sure, that's viable, but... For him to have created the universe and have power over all of it? No. So, if all three of these things miraculously are true, evil cannot exist. Because he's so powerful, he could stop any evil before it even starts. So, he's obligated to stop evil because he's all good. He knows when evil will happen and how to stop it. And he's powerful enough to stop it. Yet evil still exists in this world. Now, a lot of people like Dark Matter 2525 have accepted the argument of free will. Uh, evil exists due to the free will of man. God gave us the tough love of free will, the opportunity to mess up on our own. And I say that doesn't just violate one of the three tenets, it violates all three of the 
triangle of evil. If he is all powerful and you have a small bit of free will, you are allowed to do whatever you want. You have a small bit of power and he can't take that away from you. You can do whatever you want with it. If, all right, so that breaks the rule of him being all powerful. Him being an all knowing God, this is the hardest rock to, to hit uh, the all, to hit it with. Yeah. If you have free will, as in you can spontaneously change your mind or you decide what your future is, then he can't know everything. There's, there's some things only you can know. And if that's the case, he, he can't be all-knowing if we have free will. If everything is a part of his plan, then none of our plans actually matter. And if he knows that all of this evil is going to go down and he lets us do it anyway, knowing that Armageddon will happen and most of us won't make it and only a select few, why not just... You already know the result. You already know what everyone's going to choose despite free will. So where is the kindness or justice in that? And if God is all good, sorry, this kitten is very distracting. If God is all good, then he would have given us a version of free will that prevents us from doing evil. For instance, he's all powerful. He writes the rules of reality. He doesn't, as Christians have said to me during this, he doesn't abide by the same laws that we do, but they haven't given an example of how that would work. I pose that um, he could easily make a version of free will where we just don't do evil. We just go, nah, don't do it. And it it would be easy as that, because he's God. So, evil and God cannot exist. One of the three have to be wrong. Either he's an all-powerful God, and he's an all-good God, but he doesn't know where, where or when evil will occur, so he didn't know that Lilith would trick... Adam and Eve into eating the apple and so on and so forth. If God is all good and all knowing, but not powerful enough to stop evil, then he's not a God. A God is something that can triumph over anything, especially the God that's presented in the Christian Bible. He is a monotheistic, all powerful God. There is supposed to be nothing above him. So, if there's anything above that, if this God is real, and there's anything above that, well, fuck that, I'm going to worship that. Depending on what, you know, it offers. And then, as commented on the last video, there's the option that God is all-powerful and all-knowing, but is just a dick. He's not all good. He allows evil just for the sake of evil. And I've actually talked to a Jehovah's Witness that's come to my door about the problem of evil. And I actually got one of them to admit that uh, God has us around doing evil acts for his entertainment. And I asked them, well, wasn't isn't that sort of messed up? And they say it's the will of God. It is what it, it is what he will have. And that, no, no.
if he is a non-merciful God, then what's the point of worshiping him? Got run it. Got put him down. Now, a lot of people have made the argument to me that God is a father. He's a father figure. Say a father teaches a son how to uh, make uh, locks. Sorry, bit of a pause there. And he shows them the inner mechanisms of how a lock works and how to fix it, take it apart, pick one. And the son takes the information and robs every house in town. Is that the father's fault? Well, the, the big retort here is a father, human father, isn't all powerful or all knowing. He doesn't know that his son is going to start, you know, robbing houses. And he doesn't have the power to stop him. Not in that moment. That's not what God is. This one, this one returned. So, yeah. It, one of these three tenants has to be wrong. To me, it's most likely that God is a dick. And if God is a dick, there's no point in worshiping him. If God's not powerful enough to stop and, uh, you know, evil, or even create something that is without evil, why call him a god? Because he made creation. He's not an all-powerful creator, then. He can't control every little bit. If you can't control everything, you're not all-powerful. And as far as all-knowing... Anyone who has an ego big enough to say that they know everything is quite hilarious. But this is my first video. I hope to make a few more. My, I've been thinking about doing that rebuttal. I think it was to Josh Fierstein, the circle, and we only know this, and God is over here. And we need belief in order to see that little area of information where God is. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm I'm not sure. I mean, it, it's quite easy to debunk. But if you guys want to see that, it'll get its own video. Say bye, little kitty. He crawls away.